bosses, these these powerhouses. And, and in face roll, I mean, uh, face roll, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's all you need to say. He ranked, uh, what is he, 11 right now uh, in SoCal. Uh, he's kind of the poster child of the Doc Kids, uh, along with a couple others. And we're going to jump right into it in Fountain of Dreams is game one. Uh, interesting place to start here. Uh, it's good for Sheik. She likes the platforms and the way things move around. Uh, but it's also really strong for Peach because she lives forever. Not, not just lives forever, but her her platform coverage game is also quite good. I mean, sure, we make fun of the fact that some Peaches like to down smash on platforms, but it's a threat and it's a joke for a reason. Yeah, and when those platforms get low and she can down smash, especially against a tall character like Sheik, you get those low platforms where she's down smashing and it actually just hits you on the ground. There's so little you can do. It covers so much space. It's scary. And that dash attack right there covering the get up option from face roll and Ooh. there it is. He misses the OMS attack. That's what he was looking for there and why that down air came out because he was holding down on the C stick. Um, and that's going to cost him his first stock. Ooh, Ooh great look. read here on Tex. Quick, or lack of Tex. Yeah, quick little combo there. Gets him a clean 50%. Sheik outside of crouch cancel range. Not that big a deal against Peach. You don't want to crouch against her. Um, but in general, you know, good to get that extra credit. Here's what we're talking about. Griffin can't stand up. Oh, no. Oh, no. Miss input. Okay, he's fine. He made it. That was scary for him. And that transform lasts for 69 frames. So, like, near the end, you're going to be vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So, Griffin, you know, it's it's the first match of the day. He's still warming up a little bit. He's trying to feel himself out. And uh, Bladewise trying to take full advantage of it early. Nice read on that down smash, going up to the platform for half a second and then dropping down to punish. Uh-oh. Early on here, face rolls. Oh, there's oh, that Oh, yeah, attack. there's an Oms attack you were talking about earlier. But he gets the second down smash, and face roll's still in trouble. Wow, that shield came up so fast. And it was a light shield, too, allowing him to be pushed away by the down smash. Ooh, but Bladewise finds the quick short hop float back air. So now, face roll needs to clean up this stock really quickly. Otherwise, he's going to have a really tough time going forward here. And, and Peach with the lead is no laughing matter. Yeah, Peach, is, she kind of, I, I like to call her kind of a turret, right? She she can move around and she can take space, but she's not that fast. She really more likes to set up shop and say, this is where I am, and I'll move this a little bit at a time, but, like, you have to figure out how to get to me. So, ooh, nice grab by Sheik. Ooh, face roll gets caught by, like, the last hitbox of that down smash. That could have been a big punish otherwise. Okay, interesting there, right there, like, in between, like, the hurt boxes. Oh, oh man, these players are playing at like really close quarters, which is something a lot of a lot of players try to avoid against Sheik. But face roll, no fear, he's going right in there. He's playing in that close quarter game. True SoCal fashion. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, face roll, I think has been doing a really strong job of getting off the edge once he gets there, and uh, you see as the game progresses, Bladewise is giving him more and more space when he gets to that that platform. So face roll's gonna have to recognize that and use that space to come up quickly with an aggressive option. No, oh, that was a really early back air. Missed it. Once again, we see ourselves in a very similar situation where Face Roll needs to clean up the stock to bring it back to even. He's able to do it once again, but three times in a row, Bladewise has found the stock first. Can Griffin change the script right here, or are we going to see an early win from Bladewise? Ooh, nice jabs. Stop Face Roll in his tracks. He gets to the ledge. You can see again Face Roll doing a great job coming back from there. Okay, now. Face Roll reclaim center. But Bladewise finds the dash attack. And I like the little, oh my, my gosh, those jabs are really good. This is super tight. Face rolls at its percent disadvantage, but he can turn it around quickly. He's shown that. Good choice to kind of jump over there, but gets caught with an air. Face rolls looking for like a quick 10% to get Peach out of crouch cancel range. Right now, crouch cancel down smash and a lot of other crouch cancel, crouch cancel shield are like really scary for him. And he's not able to do it. Bladewise cleans up the first game. I thought, uh, well, go ahead. No, I was going to say, I feel like Bladewise was completely smothering face roll near the end there. Yeah. He was having trouble just kind of getting out of that shield pressure, that corner pressure. Mm -hmm. and we, we talked about how face roll was willing to play that close game. Yeah. Um, and I think Bladewise kind of recognized that that was what's going on and started to uh, pick more stuffing options rather than movement options, and that really worked out in his favor. Okay, we're often to go to Battlefield. Uh, the, the stage they were actually doing the warm-ups on, so I felt like this was going to be the first pick, mm -hmm. but they, I guess they opted for FOD instead. Right. And uh, just a quick reminder for everyone tuning in right now, uh, all of Top 32 is best of five, so we're not going to see any best of threes today. Um, that means no bans. Uh, this was Face Roll's number one pick to go to, yeah. and uh, that's what we're going to see for the rest of the morning. Okay, I'm often going to use that, that, that platform there for leverage, but Face Roll kind of getting a small opening. 
Now, Battlefield in this matchup works quite similarly to FOD. Yeah. Really, the only two differences are, number one, the platforms aren't getting into that low position that is really scary for Sheik. And number two, the blast zones are a little bit closer, so she can get kills a little earlier. Interesting. Was able to get the shield guard there off the fair. And what how Yep, there's the punish. With the platforms being a little bit higher, it's a little bit harder for Peach to get up there and cover both the ground and the uh, platform on Sheik's recovery, but it's still totally doable, and Bladewise, being the player he is, uh, shows us very early on that he's capable of making that happen. And I feel like Bladewise, and a, a lot of Washington players in general, are really good at punishing uh, Sheik on her recoveries. You noticed earlier how Face Roll was coming up and doing a double jump fair, and wow, held on a little bit too long. The double poof. Face roll classic, he takes the stock for it, but he's down a lot of percent. Definitely still a bit of a hill to climb. And here's that shot she's setting up. Yeah, once again, those those edge guards, like you said, they're looking real strong from Bladewise. Face roll needs to find an answer. Or just not get off stage. It's it's hard for Sheik. <laughs> <laughs> just don't get hit. With Sheik, kind of, right? Like, there's a couple of those characters where they just they have bad recoveries. You know, Sheik, one of the big names. Uh, you can talk about, like, Falcon, maybe, yeah. like, Pikachu or something. And it's just like, well, once you're there, you, you're screwed. It's bad. You just have to not get there. Okay, nice interesting choice needles. there. I thought Face World was actually going to cover the landing there because uh, Bladewise was kind of floating a little slowly, but opted for needles. Face World so far hasn't really shown uh, too much willingness to go out and try to... Uh, punish Peach's uh, recovery attempts. Yeah. He seems to be giving up the corner and saying, I'm going to win from this next corner pressure rather than this current edge guard. Um, so far, it's working out decently for him, but I'm wondering if he couldn't clean up a couple stocks a little earlier if he chose to go with the other route. Nice needles. Griffin. We, we've talked a lot about how uh, she crouch cancel, or like crouch cancel against Sheik is such a huge problem for her. And Face World uses needles really effectively early on in stocks to try to get his opponent out of that percentage. And I like the use of the turn up there, kind of covering his approach and gets the grab. A lot of times people talk about how like Peach without turn ups would actually be like not as good of a character by a pretty significant margin. And it turns out that that's true for a lot of characters. If Peach, <laughs> if Peach gives away her turn up, it's actually such a problem. Yeah, it, it absolutely is. It, it, it counts kind of like as a buffer, almost mm -hmm. a, a space where she can kind of play around and maneuver and kind of a, almost a, a wall to protect her from oncoming approaches like that with the Weasel Top right there. Exactly. And, it, you know, if, if your opponent can catch your turn up, all of a sudden they get to do all those things to you. And, and it can be really tricky. And especially if the opponent knows what they're doing, like a lot of characters have crazy options with the turn up in hand. Now, Face Roll able to clean it up and bring us back to pretty much even and then find a big combo in the last stock situation. Maybe Battlefield will work out for him in the end. Peach is already out of Crash Castle range. But the grab, oh, he jumps out. Another grab. He's off stage. Wow, that was fast. That was, a, a, it was fast and it was far. That was like a max no, Yeah, that dash. was a max length <laughs> wave land. Good job to Bladewise blade for getting the edge guard there. All right, face roll is down 0-2. Does he go right back? Yes, yes he, he does. does. Wow. All right, hopefully he took a breath there, kind of reassess the situation because those salty runbacks can get in your own head. Now, the one counterpoint there is both games have been very close, and face roll definitely could have closed that second one out in particular. Yeah. Um, so I don't have any problem with him going back here. Uh, hopefully he can find those couple little interactions to work out in his favor. And I think the big one is he has to find a way back. Sometimes he's got to find those mix-ups so that he's not just guaranteed dead once he's off stage. Nice. nice fair. Good call out on the double jump. And yep, took his time. Work. Yep. All right, so for the first time this game, we see Face Roll take a stock lead. Nice crouch cancel grab on the jab. Face Roll's able to get a little bit, but Peach fares out, I think, or nares out something. Nice. Wow. That was, a, that was a really like a cognizant kind of uh, shield grab there. Face Roll hasn't been getting a lot of grabs in the first two games, uh, but as we start the game three, he's already caught like two or three, so maybe that's a, an adjustment he's trying to make right now. Late double jump there to kind of avoid the, the, uh, the back air from Peach, and now it's the reverse of the situation. Ooh, crouch cancel down smash. It's such a problem. Well, Bladewise is getting a little bit riskier with these uh, these edge guards. Mm -hmm. I, I personally don't love that option because he's been doing such a great job of the like clean coverage. Yeah. I'd rather see him just rinse and repeat, keep it going. Face roll hasn't shown an answer yet. Yeah, why fix a broken thing? Or why bro yeah. break a, a fixed thing? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Face roll has a good little percent lead, but Bladewise has shown that it can mean very little very fast. Huh, that was an interesting interaction. I guess just the low percents let Sheik get out real fast. 
Another down smash. Sheik's off stage. Baseball finds his way back. Good landing there from Peach. That was a nice ball grab. grab. And she takes another stock. Face roll for the first time is kind of maintaining the lead. So far throughout the set, we've seen him playing from behind, trying to create a lead. And uh, unfortunately, Bladewise is able to clean it up really quick, and we're back to even. And two quick fares to get, uh, I guess, Bladewise up to 41%. Double some needles. Uh, again, we can't overstress enough. Getting out of that crouch cancel range is such a big deal. All of a sudden, you'll see Face Roll like switches up his game entirely once he gets his opponent to that percent. Early on, it's very few aerials. They're spaced. They're careful. And then as soon as he gets out of that crouch cancel percent, he goes in. You see fares. You see bears. They're on his opponent. He's much more aggressive. Uh, and that's kind of what she has to do. All right, Face Roll, I feel like he's been finding himself in those like those edge guarding situations that Bladewise had him in in the previous games, mm -hmm. where it's just rinse and repeat, mm -hmm. get you coming in, and then hit you off again. Okay, so Faisal, again, he takes an early stock. He has a lot of real estate to work with to get extra credit before the last stock situation. Let's see if he can make it work. Oh, see, crouch cancel down smash once again, this time on an F smash, but it's just such a problem for Faisal. That's a great down, down, down tilt intercept from Bladewise, knocking him off and then getting an air. And yeah, once again, that down smash, there's very little face. Ooh, interesting back. Wow. And then he gets hit on, I, I imagine that was on purpose? To get no, it was absolutely on purpose. Wow. But Bladewise continues the edge guard and cleans it up. Even with all those tricks from face roll, it just wasn't enough. It comes back to just face roll can't let himself get off stage. Ooh, forces, or baits out the down smash twice in a row. Is Bladewise getting nervous? Is face roll reading it? Bladewise sat in shield for so long there. Face roll putting on that like mental pressure. He's not like doing any block strings or anything. But what was that? That back air was incredible. Oh, Bladewise jumped out of his chair. He thought it was over. Oh, these both both these players are really tense. Face roll actually keeping calm. Never mind. Oh, he gets the up air. Yeah. That's this game. Bladewise, he thought it was over. That last recovery from face roll, it didn't look like he would make it back. I was shocked. Bladewise was definitely shocked. As soon as Griffin landed on the stage, Bladewise actually like popped out of his chair a little bit. Like, what? <laughs> so he's going to have to calm it down, bring it back. He's got two stages to work with. Yeah. He's got plenty of room. And kudos to face roll for maintaining calm like earlier, or the entire match, actually, even in those high tense, uh, high pressure situations. Yeah, I, I definitely felt like face roll was taking advantage of the, the fear factor there at the end. Yeah, um, he was. He, he put on a lot of pressure without putting out hitboxes. He was just kind of on top of him. He forced out two down smashes on platform and punished one of them really hard. Um, so Bladewise is going to have to recognize that Facial's looking for that and uh, keep it open, keep it loose, even in those tense situations. And I like that little that mix-up there on the landing with the needles. He kind of just hit the shield with the needle, ran away, then came back in for the grab. And now, edge guard. And that's an easy one for Facial. He, again, he, you see him take the lead. Are, are we looking at the potential reverse 3-0 coming out here? I mean, it seems like it with the momentum clearly in Facial's favor. There's definitely been a big shift over the last game. Facial finding those little hits. Again, so scary, right? It, he's F-tilting, and it works. But if Bladewise just happens to hold down, all of a sudden he's eating a down smash. So scary. Ooh, Bladewise finds him off stage. Facial makes that high recovery and it ends up working out, but Bladewise gets the grab. Uh, what happened to these 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 pristine, clean edge guards that he was getting earlier? They're they're a little sloppy now. Yeah, he's finding the cleanups in most situations, but it definitely doesn't feel as uh, textbook as it was before. Oh man, look at that pressure! Facial's all over him and spaced. It's not like Bladewise has options out of shield when Facial's playing like that. Oh, that short hop was so good, and he gets the fair for it. Great pressure there from face roll, getting him in the roll, and then... Oh my nice. god. What can Bladewise do? I'm sitting here scratching my head, but it, it doesn't seem like Peach has any options. Face roll's playing at that perfect spacing. Oh, ho, ho, he goes for the up B. It doesn't work out. And it cancels just enough for him to actually run off and then uh, reset to neutral. Nice. Reads the roll in. They trade. I think that was a back air from face roll. Bladewise opting to play a bit more of a spacing game with the turnips, but... Face roll plays around it very carefully and gets that back air. <laughs> I don't know if I agree with that floating up, like right above face roll. It just seemed a little risky. I, I think earlier in the set, we've seen Bladewise, especially at low percents, uh, really take advantage of being on the ground. Yeah. And somehow, face roll has kind of uh, pushed him off of that, and you see Bladewise staying in the air a lot more early on. Um, I don't know what Bladewise saw or, or feels he needs to be doing. Uh, to, to force him to go up in the air, but that's working out really well for face roll, I think. 
Free follow up onto the platform. And now Bladewise actually gets the lead in this match. Mm -hmm. Another Nair. Fish was off stage, but he has his double jump, so it's not nearly as scary. Bladewise kind of turning the situation around, putting a lot of face pressure back on face roll. Face roll finds the shield poke Nair. Bladewise floats. He's taking his time. He's playing way more patient than earlier. And I like that run in underneath the needles when he was in the, up in the air. One of the worst places for your opponent to be a Sheik is directly <laughs> under you. Yeah. Um, so when you go up for those needles, that's the thing you're worried about, is them getting right under you. And Peach has a little bit of a harder time because she doesn't have that like great horizontal movement. But if Bladewise can find that position even a couple times, Face Roll is going to be so scared to go up for needles. Oh, he finds it, but he's not able to clean it up. And he's right at that 45 degree angle. I, what what does Bladewise do? Face roll spacing looks so immaculate right now. But at the same time, Bladewise is keeping it right there. He finds the down smash. But he took his time. He didn't have like the, the quick response. He had to think about it. Face roll's way off stage, but he has his double jump. He makes it back and he gets the shield out, but the last hit pokes. We're at a last lock situation. Bladewise could close it out or face roll could force a game five. Alright, there's a dot eyes out of the game. As Bladewise plays more patiently, Face Roll is showing more willingness to go for those needle charges and just hack on that percent to take a lead of his own. But Peach hits hard. Great re-grab there for Face Roll. He gets the fair, but he's not able to follow up any further. Face Roll's in the corner. He forces his way out with a dash attack. Ooh, that dare was so smart. Face Roll's been going in with those aerials, and this time, Bladewise is able to preempt it. Another bear. Oh, that grab oh just my misses. Gosh. That was like frames. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Really? The tennis smash? rack? Where'd that go from? Oh, Bladewise needs this right now. She's looking like a locker room. Oh, the double poof works out for face roll. This is the first time he's used it this set. We haven't seen it at all. Bladewise wasn't ready. Blade well, face this roll. time with the nares. Face roll trying to find that spacing. The down, the down tilt gets him. The nair. Okay, this is actually a really tense situation because we will have to see how he's going to mix up. Oh, and he actually just gets it. I didn't think he had his double jump, and I don't think Bladewise did either. Bladewise doing a great job of forcing Face Roll out of those like really careful, carefully placed positions that Face Roll wants. And they're both almost at one, uh, 150 plus. A any big hit is going to take it either way. Even if it's a turn up. <gasps> just enough time. Wispy almost helping him out. And there it is. Okay. Well, I thought Face Roll did a great job recovering and like bringing it back there. The first two games looked a little tough for him, but uh, he definitely like changed it up quite a bit. And uh, in the end, Bladewise, you know, he's able to clean it up, but four extremely close games back to back to back that could have definitely gone either way and i what i love the most about these types of like really big or these longer three out of five sets mm -hmm. is that we get to see the players kind of like it's an endurance match it, it's a test of will and we saw it in bladewise's play especially because he had those very clean edge guards at the beginning of the set and then as it dragged on and on and on maybe just because face roll was adapting maybe because of just uh, just strain mental like fatigue it, it got dirtier, sloppier, and it just became that much better to watch. Yeah, and, and we talked about it throughout the set. We're like, oh, look, like, Bladewise isn't getting as clean of a punish here. He's not getting quite the edge guard, but he's still able to clean it up. But he's still able to clean it up. And I think that really uh, highlights what the match was for me, is is even though Face Roll put on a lot of pressure, he changed things up, he, he made it trickier, he was still always able, as Bladewise, to, to finish it off. He, he got what he needed to get done done.